Hey guys, um, so, um, this week on Our Life in the Saddle is Opinions Week, so it's sort of like debate week or like Opinions Week, so everyone's going to be choosing something that they feel strongly about, um, or just have an opinion about, and they're going to share their opinion, so yeah, that's this week. Um, so my topic is bits versus hackamores, or like any other bitless bridle or anything like that, um, so yeah, that's my topic, and I'm going to try to try to make this as one take as possible because I am very busy and I have a lot of stuff to edit. I have to edit for my main channel and a bunch of videos that I have coming up, um, plus school starts Wednesday, which, ooh, not excited for that at all. Um, so yeah, and I have to upload this by tomorrow, so sorry for my appearance, like I literally just, it's random, I'm in my attic, like, so yeah, let's just get started. I wrote down a bunch of stuff about it like bits versus hackmores and all that so yeah i'm just gonna to start up this video um basically i'm just gonna be talking about bits versus hackmores um because the other bitless options are a little different i'm not as educated in them um so my um opinion video is mainly just gonna be bits versus hackmores so yeah let's just get started i have like a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about on my phone so I'm gonna be looking down a lot the first thing I just wanted to talk about was this debate can get really like heated and like both sides I would say do this um, but they get really defensive and they say one is more harmful than the other to the horses which is actually not true at all it depends on the rider and the horse itself so yeah that's what I just wanted to say first. so to clear like the air <laughs> I'm going to give pros and cons to both bits and hackamores so you get the idea and like are informed by each and so there's pros and cons to each even though I use bits um, I still think there's cons to bits um, so yeah I'm just gonna talk about some pros and cons to bits and hackamores and then I'm gonna get into my actual personal opinion after that so the first pro to hackamores is they're great for horses with damaged mouths in the past if there's anything wrong with their mouth um, or like teeth um, they are better for their teeth because um, it's not actually there's no contact with the teeth they can result in just as much communication with the horse as bits do um, that's especially if they're fitted properly they can communicate with the horse just as well as bits do um, which is another like misconception um, another pro to hackamores are that there are various types and sizes and things you can add on. I'm not very ex educated in that, but um, yeah, I know there's like a lot of add-ons and you can personalize it to what your horse needs. Um, and another part to hackamore hackamores is they have good stopping power to stop your horse more easily than maybe a bit would, depending on how strong, high strung the horse is. Um, my dog. Hi. <laughs> Hi, the camera. Are you tired? So, I guess she's just going to chill during the video. Okay, so now those are the pros to Hagmores, and I am, this is actually not biased. Um, I looked up pros and cons to Hagmores based on people who use them, so this is not like biased pros or cons at all. Um, and same with the bits. So yeah, they each have like a similar amount of pros and cons. Okay, so the cons to Hagmores are they are not for beginners, they require sorry my gum they are not for beginners um they require a soft hand um but that also it can't be really because they cannot they might not be effective if the hand is too soft but they can be harmful if you have a harsh heavy hand so yeah um and they can harm the horse's air airway and nose area um if they're not fitted correctly or worn with a heavy-handed rider um, they, another con to hackamores are they are purposely abrasive, like purpose, that's what they are made for to be, um, sort of like an abrasive aid, um, to control the horse. Um, so you have to be super careful when using them, um, especially with the noses, because noses of horses are more sensitive, um, and yeah, so, yeah. Um. Another con is they need to be fitted near perfection in order to work properly and not harm the horse. So fitting is really important and it's a lot harder um, and more complicated to fit a half more than to fit a bit. Sorry if I'm talking weirdly, there's going in my mouth. Um, 
Another con is they can be dangerous if they are worn with an unskilled rider, obviously. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to get into bits. So pros for bits, um, they are great and reliable control. Um, super reliable control because they, um, they can guide a horse easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, especially for forward or spooking horses. Um, they usually... Horses who are more forward or spooky um, usually work on bits better than they would with hackamores, um, especially because hackamores are a little more abrasive on the nose. So yeah. Oh, I just lost my place. Oh, okay. Um, another pro to bits is that um, they are easier to fit and size to a horse and their needs. Um, and there are tons of options with bits. I believe there's more options with bits than hackamores because um, there are tons of bits out there and they range from like easy, um, simple, just like snaffles or just easier bits, um, all the way to harsher bits, um, which yeah, some some harsh bits can be debatable. So yeah, since there are tons of various types of bits, um, it's really easy to personalize or um, like sort of cater to your horse's needs, which is great. Um, and yeah, the last pro to bits is that a lot of um, you can show in bits. I know this is like, depends on what you do, but in Hunter, Jumper, and a lot of different disciplines, um, they require you to show in a bit. So that's another pro to that. And now getting into cons for a bit. If they are ridden wrong or used wrongly, they can hurt the horse's mouth or teeth, um, and their teeth could suffer. Hi, BB. Um, another con is horses can eat or drink, um, can't eat or drink as easy as like a hack more with a bit in um and it may be not as easy to swallow like saliva it depends on the bit but yeah um so bitless is actually um like better for endurance type um riding i forgot to mention that as a con as a pro for um hackamores but yeah so they're usually better for like inter endurance type riding um because the horse can like drink and yeah um Another con to bits is that they can get really cold in the winter and um, they can freeze the horse's mouth tissue so it's really important to remember to warm up the bit um, before you ride in the winter. Now I'm going to get into like my personal opinion and what I use. Um, so I use bits, if you guys haven't noticed, Lily is in a full cheek snaffle fit. Um, and yeah, I use bits because I it's what I'm comfortable with and it's what I've always ridden in and Lily responds to bits better. Um, she responds to bits really great, um, and the full cheek snaffle is amazing for her, and she shows in a D-ring, um, she shows in a D-ring, um, and, yeah, she just responds very well to them, and, yeah. So, I personally don't have a super heavy hand, um, and I don't tug Lily constantly, um, well, mo mostly because in Hunters, that's the discipline I do. Um, that's not really a necessary thing, um, especially because Lily is a trained horse, so it's um, not really necessary unless the only time I'd be pulling on her is if she is going, if she's really fresh or something like that. But it's not like a constant thing, especially in like my everyday riding. Um, and I don't have a super heavy hand for a fact, so the bit actually does not harm her. Um, so yeah um and lily also has checkups and her teeth and her mouth are totally fine that is also a myth with bits that every horse has mouth problems when they use bits that's not true lily is actually a full bill of health as a like with her mouth and everything like that so yeah and then um another point that i have is so this is like my last like point like my overall i guess this is my big opinion on both so my last sort of like opinion statement i guess my final statement would be that with a heavy hand a bit both bits and hackamores can be harmful to the horse um so both could become abu abusive at times sorry people just come home so either one could become abusive so you have to have the right hand for either not to become abusive if that makes sense so yeah either one can be abused and either one can be really helpful to the horse so yeah it depends how you use it both have to be used correctly not neither one is more harmful or less harmful than the other 
So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.